Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm going to do a video today um, showing the difference in scores between just a single GTX 680 and a 680 in SLI. So as you can see, I got the two GTX 680s here, right, right there. I'm going to be uh, benchmarking them with 3D Mark 11. So I'm going to disable SLI because it's in SLI configuration right now. I'll run the benchmark show you guys the scores and then enable SLI and show you the scores of that and we can also I can also show you guys some temperatures and stuff so hold tight and I'll be back with the first test um, of just the single EVGA GTX 680 super clock um, they're both or um, one of the GPUs is on water it's on a coolant water system and the other one is just on air so I'll be right back Alright guys, we're back. Um, we got an X score of 3,460 with the single GTX 680 super clock. Um, like I mentioned before, it's on water cooling and we reached a max temp of 42 degrees Celsius. And that's because it's on water cooling. Alright, um, I'm going to run the performance test and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back again. Uh, for the performance test on the single GTX 680 Superclock, we got a P-score of 9,976 uh, with a max temperature of 43 degrees Celsius. Um, I'd also like to mention that the ambient temperature in the room is 23 degrees Celsius or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to enable SLI now and then I'm going to run the same test and we're going to have a look at the temperatures and the scores that we get. Alright, so we'll be right back with that. Hey guys, back again real quick. Just going to prove to you guys that I am running SLI. So there we go, SLI is now enabled as you can see so I'll be right back hey what's up guys I'm in the middle of the X-Score test for the SLI just want to show you the clock speed of my video cards right now together they're running an SLI at 3105 megahertz I just started the test so you can see the temperatures going up on both cards so that's a crazy number um, the single cards only run at 1125 megahertz, and then I think they boost up to 1175. So yeah, that's a significant um, increase in speed. So yeah, I'll be back in a second with the X score, and then the P score, and then the temps, and that should wrap it up. All right. So with two GTX 680 super clocks in SLI, we got an X score of 6,368. If you don't remember previously, uh, with the single card uh, for the next score it was 3,640, so that's nearly double the performance. Uh, it scored 2,728 points higher, so uh, a few hundred points short of double. But as you can see, the temperatures increased significantly, uh, 65 Celsius for the main card, and then the secondary card hit 41 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to run the performance tests and then we'll see what we get with that. Alright guys, back again. Uh, so the GTX 680 in SLI got a P-score of 15,724. I uh, got a max temperature on the main card of 67 degrees Celsius and on the secondary card we hit 43 degrees Celsius. Um, not as big of a jump as we saw with the X score. The X score nearly doubled. Um, there was only a difference of 5,748 degree or er, degrees um, points. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a pretty significant uh, difference um, between SLI and non-SLI, as you probably could figure. Um, I would definitely say that the SLI is definitely worth the price um, you get some ridiculous scores and games run great and everything uh, 
I just shot on my system just to prove that I'm actually benchmarking. You can see the two cards right there. And you can sort of see the SLI bridge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be doing some more stuff like this. So stay tuned. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.